The distance between our bags Make me feel like I want ya Can I feel back up on ya The distance between our bags Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this look right here. This is spring and nature inspired. So I really hope you guys like this look and let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm starting off with my eyebrows already done and I outlined my eyebrows with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Espresso and I filled them in with my NYX eyebrow pencil in dark brown so I use these two pencils to do my eyebrows and then to prime my eyelids and carve out my eyebrows I use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in deep and I mixed it with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in chestnut so that is what I have on right now so now that that is done I'm going to be using brown script from MAC as my transition color I really need to stop using this color but I can't so this is my transition color and I'm going to be using my Morphe E27 brush. And I'm just placing this in the outer corner of my eye and using circular motions to blend it inward because I want everything to transition up into this color. I feel like my hair is really distracting in this video. <laughs> okay, so my headband is from Forever 21 and I am going to be doing a hair tutorial on this hairstyle and my halo braid that I had in my blue smoky eye tutorial. I'm going to be doing those two styles in a video so yeah get excited. I just had to say that because I felt like my hair was really distracting and I have Eunice hair in so yeah. And now I'm going to take this color right here from my So Susan palette. I know that's just a random palette to throw in this video, but I really, really love that color. See, like, it's orange and warm, but it has a purple undertone. Like, do you guys see that? It's so pretty. To prime my mobile eyelids to make sure my eyeshadow does not transfer, I'm using the MAC mix and medium eyeliner and I'm using my matte 242 brush okay for my mobile eyelids I'm taking this beautiful eyeshadow oh my gosh <laughs> and I'm using my elf eyeshadow brush to pack this on my lids Now I'm taking Violetta or Violetta. Anyways, I'm taking this color from Coastal Scents and I'm taking this on the outer corner of my eye to deepen up my crease a little bit more and I'm using my Sigma E25 brush. I'm placing the eyeshadow in my crease like this with the brush facing this way, like flat, so you can do windshield wiper motions. And then I turn the brush like this and blend it in my crease. So place it like this at first to pack it in your crease and then to blend it out a little bit more, turn it this way. Now I'm taking Cloud9 from ColourPop to deepen up my crease a little bit more to make it smoky since I'm already making it smoky. I didn't want this to be like really smoky but we already here so and I'm just placing it directly in my crease. Okay, so for eyeliner, I'm going to be using my Inglot Eyeliner in 77, and I'm going to be doing my eyeliner off camera because I can't ever get 
myself on camera doing my eyeliner because the way my camera is set up so i'm just gonna do a basic liner off camera and put on my lashes and i'll be right back before i apply lashes i'm going in with big shot mascara just to prep my lashes for falsies and i don't remember the lashes that i'm wearing um so i'll link them down below but they're drugstore lashes and I got them from Walmart and I stacked them. I know one pair is the Salon Perfect Grand Glamour Lashes from Walmart. But I can't remember the names of the other ones that I get from Walmart. So, so just look down below in the description box for that information. And I put entirely too much glue on this lash. <laughs> and then I put a little bit of glue on this one because it's already dry. Girl, what are you doing? These are like my favorite lashes from the drugstore. I don't wear them separate, but I always put them together and they just make this nice wispy lash and it's so freaking pretty. Moving on to my face makeup, I'm going to be priming my face with the e.l.f. Um, poreless primer and I really like this primer because it's a little thicker than my LA Girl primer and I just feel like it fills in my pores a little bit more. Yeah, it has like a little scent to it, but I don't really mind. My hand is so dirty. How did I get distracted like that? Anyways, I don't really mind it, um, but it does have a scent to it. But I feel like it works really good. This primer isn't oil controlling, so if I was to be going somewhere, I will have to do an oil controlling primer so I won't get too oily, but I'm not going anywhere. So I'm just pressing that primer into my skin and I'm focusing it more in my T-zone area because that's where my pores are the most visible. For foundation, I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the color NC50. And I'm going to be using my Sigma brushes from Jackie's Collaboration. And I'm so freaking happy for her. Like, girl, you doing it. Congratulations to Jackie. These brushes are lit. You know what? I should have used these brushes for my eye makeup. Okay. It's all good. <laughs> So to apply my foundation, I'm using the Flat Top Kabuki brush, which is the F80. I've heard a lot about this brush, but I never bought it. Hmm. I like it. It's pretty straight. It's a little stiff, but I'm not mad at it. It's just like my um, 3D HD Kabuki brush that I used in like my last video. Um, but this one is just flat. I feel like I'm about to mess up my baby hairs. Okay, so to highlight, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut, and I'm mixing that with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in D. And to apply that, I'm using my Morphe MB10 brush. And I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender, which is damped. Okay, now to set my highlighted areas into place, I'm taking my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And I'm using the same Beauty Blender and I'm pressing this into my skin until it disappears. Okay, so I'm just being heavy handed today. And now I'm just taking it on my nose to set that area, my forehead around my mouth because that area likes to crease. And then my chin. Okay, so my skin looks okay in person, but I feel like it looks a little weird on camera. So if my makeup looks a little off right now on camera, just know it does not look 
this harsh in person. So now I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Studio Fix powder in NC47. To contour, you guys already know I'm using the True Complexion Contour Palette in Medium 2D. Contour my nose out a little bit. Do I want to do blush? Yeah, let's do blush. For blush, I'm going to be wearing Desert Rose from MAC. To add some glow to my face, I'm going to be wearing the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Crown of My Canopy. And I'm using the F35 brush from Jackie's collaboration. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's blend that out. Oh, it actually blended out really nicely. Ooh, I'm so dramatic. Okay. I feel like I applied a little too much on that song. Y'all can see that. Like, that don't look good. Let me blend that out some more. I like this brush for my nose highlight. But for my cheek, like my cheekbone highlight, mm -hmm. this brush will probably be really good to set your under eyes too. And then I'm going to top it all off with my Inglot, um Sparkling Dust. Okay, I think I'm overdoing it just a little bit. Moving back to my eyes, I'm going to go back into my So Su Sand palette and I'm going to take that orange color and I'm using my Sigma E20 brush. Now I'm taking my Real Technique Slanted Arch Definer brush and I'm just going to line my bottom waterline. Now I'm taking Cloud 9 from ColourPop and I'm using the same brush and I'm applying it in the same place. And now I'm taking my M506 brush from Morphe and making sure this area is blended. And now I'm just grabbing my e.l.f. brush that has my mobile eyelid color on it and I'm going to place this in my inner tear duct and I'm going to bring it down onto my bottom lash line. And now I'm just adding that highlight on top. And then to finish this off I'm taking my um, Push Up Angel Mascara and applying a buttload of mascara to my bottom lash line. Alright you guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys like it and if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and comment down below and if you want to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and i think that's all i have to say thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos and i will see you guys in my next upload